back to the channel everybody. Today we are going to do a what's in my makeup bag show. So we're going to see what is inside here. So this is very full. <laughs> so the first thing is a palette. This is the Tartlet and Bloom palette. It's the Amazon clay. Alright, so this is the one I use a lot. It has a lot of really nice neutrals in it. So I really like this one. So that's the first thing. The second thing for the highlighter, I like the Urban Decay Naked Illuminator. So it's like the, this has been around for a while. It's just like a, a really nice um, highlighter. It's not very glittery, but it just has like a nice little sheen to it. So this is the one I like. The next thing for powder, we have the Clinique Stay Matte Press Powder, oil-free version. So I like this one, so I've been using this a lot. Um, just because I'm allergic to a lot of different types of powder, I find this one I'm okay with, so let's try that. Uh, this is cool. This is uh, the Blush Authority. This is from Tarte. So this was, came out at Christmas time. So you open it up, and then you turn it, and you turn it again, and then you get three different types of blush, or um, some of them have highlighters in them, and some of this um, this part are the contours. So um, this is the one with just the blushes in it. It's kind of cool. It gets like super compact. I like this too. I just got this not long ago. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Shaping Stick. So um, they have it in very pale, which is good because super pale right now. Um, it's a really good um, foundation because it's not like very oily. It stays on a long time. It looks natural. So and it's in this convenient stick form. What else do we have? Oh, this is a Revlon. This is a, one of the new Super Illustrious Shine lipsticks. This is 15 in Dazzle Me Pink. It's this like bright pink color, but it's kind of like a gloss, so it doesn't look that bright when you put it on. It's cute for spring. Okay. Got that. What else do we have in here? Oh, for primer, this is the Too Faced Peach Cooling Primer. Uh, this is really, really good. I like this. I don't know if it's discontinued now or not. Um, I got it at Sephora. This is the smaller size. I find I don't use it enough to um, buy the giant one because it just dries out. So. What else do we have? Oh, for liquid foundation, this is the Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. So this one is really good. It has an SPF of 15 in it. So um, I'm just kind of pale right now, so it doesn't really match. But when I uh, get some more sun, it'll look a lot better. So for eyeliners, I like these little pens. So I bought this. Um, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim. So this one I really like. Um, it has a very fine point on it. So it's a really good um, drugstore dupe of this one. This is just the sample size of the tattoo liner from Kat Von D. Um, this is a lot. It's like 25 or more dollars for the full size one at Sephora. So I got a sample. So I like to just use these because they are expensive. So the next one is um, from Benefit. It's precisely my brow pencil. So this one I like too. It has the spoolie on the one end. And then this is in shade number four. Uh, it it kind of matches, but I think I probably should have gone with uh, the next one up for darker because my eyebrows are so dark, but it's fine. I can use it. Um, for mascara here, we have the Clinique High Impact Mascara. So I got this out of a kit. Um, it's fine. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I don't mind it. Um, would I buy the full size just to pay? It's like $26, I believe. Probably not. But I find like with mascaras, they dry out quick, so I don't tend to buy very expensive ones just because of that. Okay, so for lip liner, I just got this not long ago. It's the L'Oreal Color Riche lip liner. I find it's great. It has a nice color, nice point, stays on a long time. So, I like it. I think it's good. So for um, concealers, I have two that I use a lot. Um, the first is the L'Oreal True Match. So this is in N1, 2, and 3, a light ivory. Covers up the bags under my eyes. And then if it's really bad, I use Bye Bye Under Eye, which is the full coverage from It Cosmetics. So that one's really good too. You don't need a lot of it. It, it covers with very minimal amount. If you put a lot, it's just super gooey and cakey. So if you're going to get that, just use a little bit. Um, so I have lipsticks left. So when we are filming, sometimes I have to wear red and 
So I have this sample, it's from Laura Mercier, and it's this, what color is this? Rouge Altime. And uh, anyways, it's this really, really pretty red color, and I find that it actually works well um, for myself. It doesn't look that odd, because I find that some of them aren't really good for when you're super pale. Um, the next one, I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart, and it's the NYX Professional Butter Gloss. Everybody talks about this one, so I thought I'd try it. It's really, really good. It's not sticky at all, and it was like 7 or $8. It was really inexpensive. It's a really pretty color. This one is in tiramisu. Just a really nice basic lip gloss that's not gooey, which is kind of hard to find. Next is a MAC lipstick. This was... Um, it's a matte lipstick. I don't know what the... It was a special one. That's from MAC Maker. Anyways, it's um, it kind of looks like their Cosmo color. So, I like this one too. It's just like a nice neutral matte. The one I like to wear every day is Clinique in Bear Pop. Eh, it's so tiny if you can see it. So this is a smaller version of it. Um, it's just like a really pretty neutral. And it has like a little bit of shimmer in it. But it's not like, it's not matte and it's not gloss. It's kind of in the, in the middle. So it's just like a nice neutral color. Nice formula. And then the last are the two from Fenty Beauty. So this is their Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. This is my favorite. It's very, it's like $25-ish, I think. Um, it's not cheap, but you get a very big bottle of it. And it's, it's amazing. So this is the one. I think this was the very first one that they had out. And then they came out with this one um, a few months ago. It's a Fenty Beauty The Cream. So it's like this one, but like a lipstick, like a cream lipstick of it. They're both amazing. Like, very, very good. These are like my favorites. So um, these are all of the cosmetic products that I use on a regular basis. Um, some are drugstore, some are from Sephora. So it all depends. Um, these are the ones that I liked. So. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave us a like. If you'd like to see more unboxings and reveals, please be sure to follow the channel, and we will see you in the next one.